Oh, shalom, greetings, under much greetings, Rastafari, you know, it's lit. I just finished watching a video, I think the name of it was, If You Want to Survive the Collapse or the Upcoming Collapse, watch this video, watch this video if you want to survive the upcoming collapse. It's by a YouTube presenter, um... Pockets of the Future. I think his channel is named Pockets of the Future. About to watch the next, actually the next video presented by the YouTube presenter. He's a writer too. I think his name is um, Paul Romano. All right, Paul Romano. And the video, at first I was like, I looked at the title, I said, right. If you want to, if you want to survive the upcoming collapse, watch this video. Watch this video. If you want to survive the upcoming collapse, I didn't really recognize. That. Sometimes I just look at the title and and part the still and and just in the spirit. And um, there was like an intellectual part that was saying, you know, people say, watch this video. Watch this video. It's like you you kind of sometimes turn off from that. Well, not you, but sometimes I was like you know, a little ambivalent about that, but it hard to collate and hard. I said, let me check it out. And I'm so happy that I did check out the video. So if you've maybe passed over that video, please check it out. I think it's one of the few videos that is, 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 is actually, um, accurate according to the title or, or, you know, I said, don't judge a book by the cover. But the, the cover, or at least what the title speaks about, is really so relevant and how the presenter, how Paul Romano, how he actually presents it and some books even makes me interested in checking out some of his books as well, actually. So thank you, brother. Thank you, um, brother in spirit and in truth, because in spirit, you know, I feel what he's saying. I, I know what he's saying. Moreover, the spirit knows. The soul feels, but the spirit knows. And as Yeshua HaMoshia, Jesus Christus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And in, not in regurgitating everything that he spoke of, not that I would be able to, but some of the key and essential the themes, you know, a lot of people about prepping and make sure you have enough of this, Make it you have enough of that. And many are approaching it, you know, the whole idea of even preparation from a um, from a material based level. And, and, and ones are trying to say, well, is it going to be this? Is it going to be that? And, and, and there's a series of things. And, and the earth is 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 living the earth and the creation is the hand or the handiwork of the great creator. And not to get into religious so-called levels, because that's a part of the confusion there. Um, the brother really cut through it that, and I, I like a line that he said, well, I'm going to adapt right, um, what he said and put it like this. We have to get from the so-called, or come from the internet, or, or grow past the internet to the internet, right? To the internet. In order to survive what is happening, because it's happening now. It's not like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. It's, it's, it's an ongoing. I know as Rastafari say like, every day is a judgment day, but make no mistake about it. There will be a great day of judgment because it's judgment on different, on different levels, on personal levels, on what you sow, you reap on, on individual, on group, collective levels, and then on this system of things. But what I really like was his opening point and his opening point kind of dovetails with a vid that I just did actually a series of vids. I'm about to post up the second video. Um, um, Pagan or pagan, so-called pagan, pagan, propaganda exposed. Because we're under humanity collectively a spell. And, and this spell 
is because of ignorance, not knowing or assuming that we know and we really don't know. And when we look at what has gone on from in societies, right? How our ancestors, many of our ancestors, probably all of our ancestors, because we wouldn't be here if, if they did not know how to survive. This trick that went on from the so-called countryside, which actually is the Paganus, the word Paganus means the countryside and the urbanus or urbana urbanus refers to the cities. And I was just focusing on the word pagan or pagan because of, especially a lot of the religious um, pseudo modern like Gentile Christian folks, they'll say, oh, this is pagan, that's pagan, that's pagan. But there's not that balance there. Like if I'm going to tell you about something and I call this bad or evil, There should be that balance of what is good. If I say, well, this is what's going wrong. Um, well, what do we do to come out of that and, 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 and do what is right? You know, or how do we overcome the evil with good? And this is where the teaching of his majesty, we say his majesty. I'll just say Abu Ye or, you know, my father, our father, um, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Edamawi Haila Salase Siyuma Egziavi Her Nugusa Neges Ze Ethiopia. I know that's a that might be a mouthful right now for some. But Haila Salasi it's a, it's a, it's really, when you really start to, you know, first of all, you know, they they have when I say they, I'm speaking about the 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 evil um, rulers of this world system, which ultimately, rather, are not physical human beings as we have been made to believe along this kind of uh, uh, racism, you know, Satanism, racism, and so-called white supremacy, you know? That's not to dismiss that either. But that is actually, it's like prepping. People say, oh, you got to have enough of this. You got to have enough of that. Make sure you have this. And as the brother Romano in his video said, um, it's like, that's just an interim. Some things are not going to so-called come back online as they were. When it is said the end of the times of the Gentiles or this present um, geopolitical global world system, it's not like the lights going to flick off and then they're going to flick the lights back on. So some are trying to prep or prepare so they can continue to so-called live the way that they have been living. You know what I mean? To continue this illusion. Right. And one of the key statements of his imperial majesty was that change begets change. It's as if Selassie, as if uh, King Selassie, um, Haile Selassie came from the future. Right. And he is that one almost like the day the earth stood still. He came from the future to the past. Right. Or to our present time or the previous um, um, time space continuum to warn humanity and to show uh, a, a glimmer or a taste of the true world to come or the true kingdom of Adonai, the true kingdom of Adonai, Cha Rastafari, the true kingdom of the Lord. And the evil rulers of the world, they knew, but they could only do so much. You see what I'm saying? In other words, that testimony had to be made. That testimony had to be made. So in watching the video by Paul um, Romano on his YouTube channel, Pockets of the Future, and it's the video which says, uh, I think if you want to survive the upcoming changes, of, not changes, if you want to survive the, the collapse, watch this video if you want to survive the collapse. And I think that's one of the, I mean, there's many good videos out there, but this one is like the, the hammer 
hitting the head of the nail with one good stroke, you know what I mean? And boom, that nail is in there, it's fastened, it's tight, you know, it's firm. And this is why I want to encourage my brothers and others, you know, brothers and sisters, um, to check out that video because we've been reasoning on this as well and we already know it. It's already written on our hearts. And some have have um, been able to express it, right? I, I, I want to, I would like to, not want to, I would like to, you know, I seek to be able to express it. But if I feel I've fallen a little bit short on it and the next brother or sister you know, regardless of whatever nation or ethnicity or tribe or clan, if the spirit of truth, right, is proceeding from your mouth and from your heart and we're able to receive it, you know, as we say, big ups, you know, and, and, and may, may Adonai, may the true and the living God bless you and, and yours. Um, because that video right there, actually succinctly i think really makes the point that i have not seen um made in other videos and and i've seen some of his other videos and actually some of his other videos were quite interesting i haven't seen as many of his videos as i would have liked to see um but of course this this is probably the same with some for my videos and 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 others for others but it's not it's not the quantity it's actually the quality, right? And, you know, I might like this video. You might like the next video. In fact, I want to see another video that he has up there. Um, the real reason the Illuminati murdered Jesus. And so I want to check that one out. Um, probably coming up after I record a little something right here. I wanted to originally call this video. Um, um, how Selassie, you know, how his majesty, Hala Selassie, how Selassie was preparing us to survive this upcoming collapse. Well, actually, how he, one, tried to warn, right, both us and them, both our people, the children of the Ethiopians, the children of Israel, the ethnically Black peoples, the, the black sheep, the lost found black sheep of the house of Israel, and then the other nations in, 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 in context with the scriptures, you know, in context with the Bible. But I'm not, I don't want to get on that particular level, but I want to share a couple of word sound, a couple of utterances that after watching the video, um, if you want to survive the collapse, because a lot of people are still looking at it materially. And so that was a very, a very accurate, you know, it was apropos, you know, it was appropriate um, that many are looking at surviving on a material level and they're not thinking of the spiritual side. It's like the end of this world or seclorum or this world system or biblically the times of the Gentiles and the next way you can look at the Anglo-American um, empire or this global system. It, it, they're different descriptors. But ones are looking at it materially. You know, they're looking at it in a material sense. Make sure you have enough material this. Make sure you have enough material that. Make sure you have enough material this, that, the next thing, so forth and so on. And then I recalled a couple of statements of the King of Kings, right? And and one of them I like to, well, actually two of them I like to share with you. One of them, and this one first right here, I like this this particular pick right there, where there's the Rastaman, like I and I, or the, you know, the the survivor. Because we have to, we have to, you know, Bob Marley, he, he, he's talking about the black survivors, Right. And the black survivors are the key for humanity survivors. It's not neglecting any other ethnicity, so forth and so on. But to whom more is given, more is required. And this is one of the reasons why at the end of this seclorum, this world system, 
so-called blacks seem to be in the news and it seems to be like what is wrong with this people because to whom more is given more was required but his majesty says this abuye my father right say our father for my brothers and sisters but Haile Selassie the first says this the king of kings it says that he will come as a thief in the night you know, and people have missed that day. What's coming forward is, is a time of judgment. It is the end of the seclorum. It's the end of the times of the Gentiles. Simply put, it's the end of the world system that you are or were used to, right? And if you want to survive the upcoming collapse or the collapse, check out Pockets of the Future a video on the YouTube channel, Pockets of the Future. Amen? Amen. Today, man sees all his hopes and aspirations crumbling before him. Isn't this what we're seeing? This is the teaching of his majesty. This speech, I think, um, I don't know the exact year, but it was sometime, no doubt, between the 60s, maybe the 50s, and 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 the, the, the 70s, perhaps before that. But let's just say between the 30s and 1930 and 1975, this particular speech right here, because some of them are undated. But this particular speech right here says, today, man sees, we say man, humanity, all of us, we're seeing all of our hopes some haven't because they might be richer in the material things of the world, right? Or they might trust in these uncertain riches. So they don't see it as immediately, right? And as an impending situation as some of us, you know, some of us within the ghettos, you know, the black Jewish Hebrew ghettos, some of us and some of y'all in the middle class that have been booted out of that class and, 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 and have seen your hopes and your aspirations crumble before y'all, right? Now, it's interesting that when his majesty said this, right, some could say, well, this is a prophecy because they didn't feel it. He who feels it knows it. But today... More and more ones are feeling it, right? Continue. He is perplexed and knows not whither he is drifting. I mean, you can go on the internet or the YouTubes, and if you've looked at some of the videos, some of the video titles, and check them out and listen to different presenters, and you really see that there is this, this anxiety, there is this angst, there's this anxiety, there's this uncertainty, there's this perplexion. And then when many people say, okay, what to do? It's the response is usually material, you know, prepping. And I th I'm not saying that's incorrect, but it's, it's almost like a strictly material thing. Or ones go off in a kind of a Babylonian-ish religious kind of a thing. Like just leave it all up to God. On that particular level. And they are seeking God outside of themselves. And, and, and that statement is going to be really clarified how his majesty, um, sought to prepare, um, us and them. You understand? In other words, our people, the children of the Ethiopians, the children of Israel and other nations, just as Revelation says, right? So it says that but he, man, humanity must realize that the Bible is his refuge. Now, when we say the Bible, some people don't think about the book, you know, the physical. Remember, this, this, this conflict now is between material and spiritual values or ones who are stuck in materialism. It's like that. That, that new hashtag that's out there since some of these uh, police brutality, killings, murders, incidences, and protests and so forth and so on, saying Black Lives Matter. Don't you get it? He's still speaking about material. You still are stuck in materialism on a very low 
vibrational frequency. So when this system that we call a shit stem, when it collapses, it's going to be that much harder. And even for some among uh, in their self-righteousness to cope, right? To cope with it, right? But humanity must realize that the Bible, we're saying the word of truth, the spirit of truth, right? That is contained. We're not talking about the letter. We're talking about the spirit, right? That the Bible is his refuge and the rallying point for all humanity. What the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Hila Selassie, is speaking about what the King of Kings is speaking of is not religion in the sense that the seclorum, the world regards to be religion. It's not religion. It is spirituality, but it is, let's qualify it, true spiritual. It's truly Christ spirituality, because some say all this looking within, this is new ages and so forth and so on. And um, uh, Paul Romano from Pockets of the Future in his video that I've been I've been um, trying to blow the trumpet on, saying it's a very good video. It's, it's it, it, I mean, in itself, he really um, summarizes many of the key points and issues that some of us have maybe focused on one point here or a couple of points here, there, he, he gives a very good overview, right? Of where we're at, how we got here, you know, how our ancestors was tricked from the countrysides, right? Or the so-called pagan, right? What they call pagan, right? Um, into the urban centers, this whole Abel versus Cain. So again, we have a situation where Abel Right. And being able to live in nature and in, 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 on the land and in the Almighty's creation, the way we were intended to be, has been slain by Cain, the Cain, um, mentality, the Cain seed, the Cain spirituality or lack thereof, the Cain spirit, right? The city spirit. And we're at a point now. Most of us and most human beings living in the cities where we lack so many skills and where this adjustment, right, to, um, to life truly as it is, we're living in an artificial, right, and therefore the natural is scary. Is, 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 you know, it's like taking an inner city youth, right, um, to the country and he's hearing all these crickets and everything, you know, and he's hearing, you know, the, you know, the nature, you know, and, 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 and he's disturbed by it, but he can be in the city and hear gunshots and, and, and cars and noise and everything. And this can even be comforting. So in a sense, we have been, um, hoodwinked and bamboozled just to put it like that right there, but let's go on right here. Um, so Man or those who will survive must realize the true spirituality of the Bible, but that the Bible is his refuge and the rallying point for all humanity. In it, man, humanity, human beings will find the solution of his present difficulties and guidance for his future action. You see, but what many people do because of Babylon, because of Babylonian so-called religion, Right in the various and the various daughters of Babylon, the various denominations, right? They look at it as Bob Marley said, "Leave it all up to God," right? But the Almighty, in His Son and in the Word, has given us instruction, basically, to look within, right? Look for the God within, the happiness, the joy within. But this present world system has caused us to look for that in things and in this kind of artificial um, city, shitty life existence. So when we speak about the country and, and, and the land and so-called off the grid, not just that one's 
might not have the so-called funds or the availability opportunity at the present time to do it, but they don't have the spirit, the heart, the mind. Something has been lost. That's the greatest loss. So when this system collapse, many would not be able to make that adjustment, right? Yet the King of Kings came before the time to prepare um, our hearts and minds and tell us and show us how to prepare our hearts and minds. And the word still is true today. In it, man, in the scriptures, in the living word, man will find the solution, humanity of his present difficulties and guidance for his future action. Here's the key. And unless he, unless humanity, he, she, and the old lady accepts with clear conscience, not the guilty conscience, because it's guiltiness, as Bob sings, rest upon their conscience. Oh, yeah. These are the big fish who always eat up the little fish. And this creates this guiltiness, right, on one's conscience. And therefore, they turn away from the living word, from the reality of the Bible and the reality of turning within and they seek God outside or they seek God through material things or through vanity or or ego driven so-called pursuits. But in it, in the Bible, in the living word, man will find the solution of his present difficulties and guidance for his future action. And unless he accepts with clear conscience the Bible and its great message, he cannot hope for salvation. For my part, I glory in the Bible. Now, many of my Rastafari brothers and sisters no doubt have heard this speech, but we need to study this speech. We need to meditate on this. As we say, I meditate on it. Meditation is so important because you can hear it pick up on some things, on the shell of it, but you need to crack the shell of that word by going within. And it is by going within that we will find the true rock, the true place of standing. You know, there's the so-called internet, but there's also the internet, right? The internet. It's like when they speak about the rapture. They speak about the rapture in this um in this false sense of people flying up to the sky and their clothes just falling off, instead of, what does the word say? Caught up to meet him in the air, in the spirit, in a spiritual consciousness where ones and ones, irrespective of their so-called, um, you know, race or re- so-called religion, can recognize that central truth right, of the Almighty, that we are human beings and can fellowship with their fellow human beings as one time human beings were able to do, right, in the so-called um, old system of things. You know what I mean? When we think about, you know, we'll think about, oh, the country. Oh, let us go to the country. Let us live in the country. The first thing that we have to do is get our hearts and our minds right because we've been disorientated, right? We've been disorientated. We also are ill prepared for what is coming on humanity and what is rapidly already here um, on humanity, right? There is a collapse coming, right? And in fact, some parts of the system have already collapsed, Right. But many, you know, it's hard for us to really see that while there still seems to be um, this uh, this, um, uh, you know, you know, you could go to the stores and you could buy things, you know, you, you know, the lights, the gas, all of these other things, you know, are in a sense uh, provided or the provisions are very accessible. Little by little, ones are beginning to recognize the trick. You understand? More or less, ones are beginning to recognize, but many are just telling ones, okay, 
Because material things are hard to get. So you need to store up on material things. What about the, the spiritual immaterial things? In other words, what about the, the spiritual things, you know, um, within our spirit, within our heart and our mind that are not, you know, accessible, right, by way of, um, you know, market forces, right? You can't really buy or sell that. This is why the Babylonian system keeps us and seeks to keep humanity going from one phobia to the next phobia. It's like if you have a box, one of the keys of boxing is to keep or get your opponent off balance. And even if you don't knock out your opponent, try to keep your opponent off balance. And this is where humanity is so that should the collapse come right now, right? That ones will not be able to, see the intention is that they will not be able to adjust. What did the king of kings say? He said that change begets change. Each step forward leads logically and inexorably to the next and the next. In other words, there is no going back. People talk about the good old days, right? The, first of all, we have to ask the question, were the old days really the good old days? But what was good about the old days was that there was a sense of community there was a sense of skills. There was a sense of something else the, the brother said in his video, um, being able to endure pain, being able to endure hardship. Every mother knows, right, that's had some form of a natural birth of that enduring that pain. It's like what Christ speaks of that, you know, his coming in this new age, this new time will be, Liken, he likens it to a woman in travail, a, a woman in, 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 in childbirth, right? And this woman in childbirth, how she has this great pain, right? Which is very hard while she's presently experiencing it, experiencing it to endure it. But she pushes through. And when that new has come, Right, that you know, the new baby, the man child, as, as as he says in his word, in the word, in the logic, the logos. She forgets all of what she has experienced. All that pain is forgotten. And we as males and as men, we don't know that firsthand, but we can know that, and we can take an important um spiritual hint. From that, I mean, ask yourself, why did the Christ, why did the Messiah, why did the Savior of the world, why did he use that example there? Right? And then when we look at the war, the, 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 the reptilian or the serpent war, and when I say serpent people, I, I'm not Limiting this to a particular race as some would believe. Or a certain race in the sense of black or white or whatnot. No. Yes, we see um, the reptilian and the evildoers or, the, or, or Satan or the fallen angels working through this present Gentile Anglo-European system. But if we just even study history, even just uh, briefly without any bias, but honestly, we can see that this was ongoing and this, this has built up to this, um, to this present, right? To this present, um, state of affairs. This is another speech I would like, another utterance I would like to share. It's the ultimate challenge. And I think that is, it's, it's in the, ultimate challenge um, speech, he says like, you know, this is the ultimate challenge. You know, where are we to turn, you know, for the answers to questions that have never been asked? Remember I said that his majesty has come from the future, right, to the past, right, to this present time, 
to prepare those who are willing to hear and unbiasedly and with a clear conscience to listen, right? Not just um, from one particular um, um, ethnic group, because he's the king of kings, conquering line of the tribe of Judah, and in him shines the Lord of Lords, our ethnically black Lord and Savior, Shuha Moshiach. I point that out because it's the truth, right? Because it's the truth. His majesty says to us, I have lived too long to cherish many illusions about the essential high mindedness of men. You know, we believe, oh, people, this and that based on the propaganda of the media and, 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 and other such means of, um, propaganda, right? He says, I've lived too long to cherish many illusions about the essential high mindedness of men when brought into stark confrontation with the issue of control over their security and their property interests. You see how that word that was said then even has more resonance and there is even more evidence of the accuracy of the warning which he gave. You know, he gave other warnings too, you know, um, such as the World War II warning. But see, the, the Illuminati, so-called Illuminati, the false so-called light bringers, right? Don't go to that light. Don't walk into that light, right? They have sought to suppress, right, that message, right? And to make that message not heard. He is the persona non grata. And that's interesting because some would even lie and slander and say, oh, he was one of them. If he was, right, they would sing his praises because he's not, right, he becomes persona non grata, right, a person of no gratitude. Here's the word right here. Um, this is the ultimate challenge. He asks, where are we to look for our survival? For the answers to the questions which have never before been posed, we must look first to the almighty God who has raised man above the animals and endowed him with intelligence and reason. That is where we are to begin. Stay tuned. This continues. Y'all willing.